again guys in this video we're going to continue upgrading our Sidewinder X1 uh, in this one we're going to upgrade our firmware the Sidewinder X1 comes with Marlin version 1 series of firmware which is fine uh, again if you're just going to be doing some basic 3d printing and uh, non-professional stuff but if you do want to get uh, a better quality of print then you do need to upgrade the firmware. Now the version two does give you a whole lot of new features, which I'll post right here. So in order to upgrade the firmware, you could possibly find uh, someone who has already compiled um, a version of the firmware that has the features that you want uh, but it's really good to learn how to do it on your own. The other advantage is uh, a lot of people have compiled firmware that uh, is for a specific reason. They might have installed a BL touch or they might have put on a an extruder that is reversed um, so they need to modify the firmware to, to uh, use those devices. Uh, so finding one that is just a plain vanilla sort of firmware for just to upgrade from the version 1 to the version 2 of Marlin, uh, you pretty much have to do it yourself. Now, the easiest way to do it is to download Visual Studio Code. Uh, which is a Microsoft product, but you can get it for Windows, you can get it for Linux, and you can get it for Apple. Uh, obviously, I'm using a Windows PC here, so we're going to download the Windows version, but I've already got it installed, so I don't need to download it right now. I will put these links in the description below, so you, uh, the links will be available for you, so you can download it yourself. So once you have the Visual Studio Code downloaded, then you need to go to the Marlin firmware and get the Marlin firmware. So again, I will put this link in the, in the uh, description below and you go to the Marlin folder and you choose the version that you want and generally you want the version two branch. Uh, and what in, when you click on the code, it is gonna give you the most current, uh, most current release. So it won't give you any of the bug fix and it won't give you any of the bleeding edge or anything like that. It'll just give you the most current release code. So once you have that, and again, I've already downloaded these. Once you've got that, you can go back. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the configurations. And um, again, you, you can select the, um, the version that you want. And again, you want the current uh, release version so you're gonna go down to 2081 or whatever the current is um, when uh, you're watching this video so right now it's defaulted to select the import 20 which has bug fist fix, uh, bug fixes from very recently um, and if you use if you downloaded the release firmware this one won't actually work it'll it'll throw errors so you do have to go down and pick the, the release version and then you can click download zip. Now, once you've got those downloaded, I've got them in a couple of separate folders here. So I've already got them extracted. I've unzipped them and I've put them into a folder on my, on my uh, an external hard drive. So I'm gonna go into the Marlin 2.0 folder and again into the Marlin 2.0 folder. And here we have our basic con uh, configuration now, what we need to do is go into the actual Marlin folder, and you see you have this configuration.h and this configuration.advanced.h, and those are very basic configurations. 
So that would just compile and uh, make a, a firmware that uh, is not specific to any machine, which probably won't work. Um, it's everything is shut off, and it's just it's just a, a dead simple configuration. Um, so what we have to do is we have to go into the configurations, into the configs, examples, and you want to find uh, the brand and the model of what you're using. So we're going to go into artillery, and then we're going to go into Sidewinder X1, and then here you have these three configuration files. Now, I could literally just drag these over, over to here, but that would destroy the original configuration files. So what I like to do, um, just because I want to have a backup in case something happens, is rename them to original. just in case something happens and I need to go back to the original configuration. And then I'm going to take these three files and I'm going to copy them over to the Marlin folder. And then I can go back out to the Marlin. So I already have uh, Visual Studio Code installed, so I'm going to go to here. And uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is see this little things here with the, the blocks. These are your plugins, your extensions. I'm going to go to the extensions, and again, I've already have them installed, but you're going to search for Auto Build Marlin, and you're going to search for Platform IO.IDE. Okay, so again, I've already got these installed, but you could just put in here and and <clears throat> excuse me. And you would click on this and click on the little install. So we're going to go back out. And once you've got those installed, this is your Platform I.O. And this is your Auto Build Marlin. We're going to go to Platform I.O. And we're going to open Home. We're just going to make sure that this is all set and then we're going to go to the auto build marlin and we're going to go to the open a marlin 2.0 folder and i'm going to go to my folder where i do have that select folder okay And there's just one thing that we need to check when we're in the platform I.O. is this default environment is Mega 2560, which is correct. This is the type of motherboard that you have. And uh, the Mega 2560 is correct for a um, artillery sidewinder. Then we're going to go to the auto build Marlin. Or not. We actually want to go to files. And we're going to go to um, Marlin and go back into the configuration. And we're going to open these two files and I'll show you what's in here. So here we have the standard configuration. And just to make sure that we are set for artillery sidewinder. Now you could literally go through this line by line and turn on and turn off um, all of the features. Now to turn something on or turn it off, uh, you'll see that some of these lines have these slashes. So this is a comment. It's here. So anything that's in green is a comment, which means it doesn't actually get run. Anything that's in another color is, uh, is an actual code that will be converted into something that your 3D printer will understand. So for here, just to give you an example, if I go to the front of this line and I put a double forward slash on it, it changes it to green. So now that line will not run. And to uncomment it, I just remove those lines and it goes back to um, being usable. So again, I could sit here and literally go through this line by line, 
decide which boards I which motherboard I needed which machine name I'm going to use how many extruders it has what's the filament diameter uh, on and on and on and on um, and so this is a uh, it's a pretty basic way of doing it and then you can go to configuration advanced and this has obviously your advanced information this has the the thermocouples which are the thermistors uh, what the temperature sensors are, how they're set, things like that. Um, and the nice thing about getting them off of the Marlin uh, GitHub is that a lot of this stuff has already been set up for you uh, in a very basic vanilla settings for the artillery sidewinder. But unless you have um, a BL touch or you are using like a BMG extruder where you need to reverse the, um, the direction that it spins, uh, you really don't need to change much of this. This enables all of the features that we had talked about at the beginning when I, I showed you that screen. So once I just opened these, just so you could see what's actually in these files. So these are the configurations. Now to actually compile it and turn it into a firmware that's runnable, you go down to the bottom here and see this little check mark at the bottom. You just click on that and that will actually start building this into an actual firmware. And it's probably gonna take about 30 seconds. It's, it's pretty quick. Well, this, this machine is pretty fast. So I guess it really depends on your, uh, you know, the, the processor that you're using on the machine that you're, you're doing the coding. So we did see a couple of errors go by, but it didn't look like it was anything important. Um, I can scroll back once this is finished. So it did say success. So let's go see what those errors were. Um, empty declaration, fall through. So I'm guessing it's not something extremely important since it did continue and finish. So I think we're good. So now we're just gonna go check on that firmware and uh, let me see if I can find out where, okay. So once it's completed, you go into your Marlin 2.0 directory, directory um, into PIO, build, mega2560, and it's going to be this firmware.hex file and we're done so we now have our own custom built firmware for the Sidewinder X1. In the next video I'll show you how to install it.